This is The Tough Hub, a show brought to you by Tough Africa Global to educate you on real estate matters, to mentor you and inspire you. After 48 years of working and also traveling all over the world, I am ready to share my experience with you, especially those young ones who follow me for inspiration. We are back in Tough City with our highly requested monthly update of all the progress in Tough City. We know our viewers love seeing all the progress work and of course if you had bought here it's a little glimmer into your future heaven right here in the Gambia. Welcome to this 106th episode of the Tough Hub with the voice that you are beginning to recognize. On this episode the two general managers of Gambia and Salon give you an update tour and Mustafa Ndiaye, our CEO, reminisces on how far we've come after just two years since the inception of Taf City. Adita and Yabajan cycle in from opposite directions, the Gunjur Brikama Road. Let's follow them in the live, walk and play city. Hi Bajan! Anira! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Hey. Another day in Tap City. Yes, I'm loving it. Look at all these colors. It feels good driving from the highway, <laughs> I right? Know. And riding our bikes from the highway. <laughs> Should we stop here? Yes. Ooh. This Tap is City. Fine. Oh wow! <laughs> so, so good the roads to be back. Done. High five! <laughs> We've come a long way, eh? Yeah. Oh gosh! Yes. You tell me what's been happening. So you can see from the highway. Now we've done the roads. You can mm -hmm. see all the roads are done from the highway all through to the uh, residential area. That's so great. people that are living here already and renting, they can actually drive now from the highway down to their houses. So they can drive from Brikama yes. all the way down. Yes. They could even cycle. Yes. I mean, can. if they're fitted than us. That's right. <laughs> it's quite hot too. The it is. is. So I'd are like to also it? talk about the um, landscape. Have you seen how beautiful it is? It's just so green. It's yes. lovely. Honestly, yes. if, if you fly in, I'm sure you see Taft City. That's right. This is it right here. And you can see the drainages too? Yes. Can you tell me about the drainage? Yes. Actually? We now have all the drainages from the highway coming down into um, the Taft City itself. So you can see whenever it rains, you don't see any water standing anywhere. It just goes into the um, drainage. And if you look at the drainage, you'll see it. That there's water actually moving. And you know what? There's been a lot of rain. But just looking at this here, the it's drainage right. system is so good. Mm -hmm. You're not really seeing the overflow. Nope. Which means things are flowing in the right place. That's right. Yes. Well, well done. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> a lot of work. Tell me. I want you to tell me everything. So let's get back on the bike. Let's get back on the bike and let's see what's <laughs> happening in there. And Bazin, you know I love a competition. I hope you can keep up. I'm not computing anymore. I'm not slowing down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll slow down. Go ahead. <laughs> oh. Wow, so you've got a petrol station coming up. The petrol station is actually um, gone so far mm -hmm. and we're hoping by December, January it should be functional. That's amazing. Yes. That's really good. So residents will be able to get petrol right here. Yes. And also just people that are using the general highway can yes. also get they petrol. They can also use it, yes. yes. That's right. Good, good, good. Hi guys. Hi. Hello. How are you guys? Oh, nice. Oh, the greenery. So you can see everything that you guys did is coming out now. Perfect timing, really. That's right. So the rain is good for us. It's annoying. The rain <laughs> is something else. But to be honest, it's not been bad for us mm -hmm. because then we can test out all our work that we've done. Okay. You know, that way we see any defects that happen, we can easily come in and fix it because you know we have those structural wear warranties. That's right, that's so right. So any leakages, anything like that, we'll come in and get it. And that's a five year structural that's warranty. That's a five year structural That's really good. So five years, anybody that buys in Taft City knows that developer will fix any defects, yes. any structural defects and so on. That's right. That's why it's really important with the modifications that they do, yeah. that they get authorization from you, right? Yes. Because you're the builders, you know what you're doing. That's right. Good. Good. And you can see how green it is. It looks so beautiful. Yeah. This is the tree within a tree within a tree, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Multiple trees in one. Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. The fresh air. Oh, it's nice. It's nice. I feel so free. Yes. <laughs> So 
So this is the main Taft City roundabout. Yes, that's the one you have right before the residential mm -hmm. area. Can you see how beautiful Benna is? Look at Benna. And we're looking at the back of Benna. Actually. This is the back of Benna. Yes. Wow, look how beautiful it is. It is. Every week is different here. Yeah. Ooh, I love that modified Betty, yes, the Newmans, all of them coming alive. Mm -hmm. I don't see houses, I see names. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what you're used to. <laughs> Ooh. All right. All right. That's the main entrance. Here we are. Yes. So here we are at the big main entrance. This separates commercial area and the residential area with regulated access with a unique technology that you will gradually discover. So, I mean, there's a lot of movement in and out of the city now, yes. especially this residential section. Mm -hmm. And then you've got your property management, a few rental properties out. Yes, so what does right. that mean for the team? Do you have somebody based here now? Yes, we have the property management team uh, that are up there in the uh, entrance gate. Yeah. And then we have the facilities management team also. Mm -hmm. And they manage the running of the estates itself. Mm -hmm. So the Bene estate right now, people are living there. We have to collect their rubbish. That's right. We also have to do the gardening for the communal areas and also the cleaning. Yes. So all that is managed. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a service charge that we charge, uh, $30,000 is right now. Which is what about $500? Yes. For the whole year? For the whole year. That's amazing. Just so $500 this done. covers your garbage collection. Mm -hmm. It covers the gardening, communal gardening. That's right. Obviously the solar street powered lights. Yes, the management and maintenance of that. Yes. And the security. And the security. For $500 a year. Yes. <laughs> That's really cheap, guys. And it's something that the whole community, so everyone living in Benna, mm -hmm. you, you, once you move in, mm -hmm. it's something that you have to pay and, and also um, contribute to. So we it's have not app. optional. It is mandatory. It's mandatory. That's important. Everybody in the same mindset, keeping the city clean That's and right. moving. That's right. That's really And then good. we have the app. We have the Taft City app. Mm -hmm. That's where we keep all the communication in. Mm -hmm. And we have any all the updates and any reminders. We will put it on there and you get on your phone. Very modern. Yep. Very, very it's reactive. A smart city. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, so now we're approaching Didi. So this is a good spot. Because yes. over here, actually, let's step over here. So you've got Sava, yes. looking nice and clear. Mm -hmm. There's a few roofs. We're gonna have to go into Sava. Yes, we have to go in. You can yes. see this intersection is just beautiful right now. Yes, really everything nice. is just functioning. You can see all the drainages and the greenery, and all the roads are also almost done. You can see everything that's coming into anywhere that people are living in. Yeah, Benna, everything is done right now on, on the roads. That's really good. And then Diddy's just there. Diddy also is at completion stages right now. So we're doing all the finishing. All our finishing materials are in. So we're working to finish. By December, we're handing over all the house. Woo! By December, it's gonna yep. be a busy December in Cap City. That's right. Yes, good. Isn't December always busy? Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. And it's also festive. It's oh, festive and fun. I love it. And it's obviously our color red time, isn't That's it? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I just remembered that this time last year, that's when our first resident moved in. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. We've come a long way. Mm -hmm. Now we've got people moving in every day. Yep. It's amazing. We've come a long way. We, we have. really have. And it feels good. Yes. Sir. Good, good, good. Yes. Good, good, good. Let's go to the estate, an estate of 70 house unit. You can see Diddy. It's looking almost the same as Benna. Yes. The interlocking has been done, the roads have been done up to the entrance. Whilst we finish all the houses, you can see most of them are roofed. Mm -hmm. So we're on track. We're, we're, we're definitely just putting in now tiling and then the internal doors, external doors, the uh, burglar proofs, all of them are going in. Because some things are beyond your control, like when it rains, unfortunately, there's not much you can do about that. No. But when it's not raining, there's a lot of activity here. That's and right. I guess that's what we're on a mission. And to because get we don't want to compromise on the quality. That's right. When it's raining and it's inconveniencing everyone, we just try to stop everything until we have dry spells. Yes. Then we move in again. Work, work, work. When it rains, then we stop again. That's right. Yeah, I think that's what your customers want is that it's quality. You don't want to compromise on quality, nope. do we? No. Nope. Good. Not at all. Are we done in Did Estate? Okay, now we are in Bene Estate, still sticking with Anita and Yaba Jen. Anita used to say that Taft City is her favorite place. I hope you won't change her words. This is like no doubt one of my 
favorite, I know that word again. Yes. <laughs> but my favorite little corners in Vienna. Uh -huh. And that's because you've got Nima, Nima, Betty, Avis, Nima. Nima dominates here, right? Yeah, so you see the beautiful colors. <laughs> yes. You have a red one, a gray one, and a yellow one. What's your favorite color right here? I'll say yellow. The yellow? It's, it's bright, <laughs> very bright. But my favorite color is not yellow. Oh, it's yeah. It's red. Okay. So it's mine. <laughs> Everybody knows I love red and green. Uh-huh. <laughs> but let's talk about the Nima. So obviously we've got a lot of people buying this in Didi. Yes. Yeah. And in Bena, it's ready, it's sold out. Yes. So if I want a Nima, mm -hmm. can I still get one in Didi or? Yes, we actually have one that we uh, already started building. It should be ready in December. So anyone that wants one. to move in yeah. in December for um, into a Nima, yeah. So we December 2023, yep. anybody looking at this beautiful four bed in Nima, yep. it's still possible in Didi. In Didi but yes. if not in Saba, of course you've got the big plots available. Yes. You can get a Nima. A Nima and any other design that you want, mm -hmm. but it will take 24 months to get okay, it Okay, so completion dates are 24 months. So if you're planning for 2025, mm -hmm. look into Saba Cluster 2. If you want to be here this December in a four bed beauty, yep. any color you want, you get to choose, right? Yes, you can You choose. can get one in Didi. In Didi. Yeah, that's Perfect. Right. All right. So we'll bring up the information on that and mm -hmm. see how much it's going for. Okay. Take note. If you want a new house ready by December at Did Estate, it's available. After Did Estate, we have Saba Estate, one of the largest estate divided into five clusters. Off to Saba we go. Let's go. <laughs> Are you gonna skip, Bajan? I'm not skipping. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll skip to Saba. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen all the houses that are up now? Yes, look at the beautiful roof. So up. much progress right now. And that's the first phase, the first uh, cluster. First I mean. cluster on the left. That's cluster one. Nice. And um, we are sold out in Saba cluster one. What we're selling right now is cluster two. Because I think a lot of people will forget we only build what we sell. That's right. So anything you see being built has been sold so, to a special customer. Yes. And we're waiting to build yours. <laughs> There's plenty of plots, right? That's right. <laughs> Saba is actually one of the biggest um, uh, estates within Taft City. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have 184 units in Saba. So that's why we've done it into clusters. So we have five clusters in Saba. Yes. So the first one is sold out mm -hmm. and we should be ha handing them over by uh, next year. Mm -hmm. And then cluster two, that's what we're selling right now. Once it's sold out, we'll hand it over within 24 months. 24 months, okay. Yeah. I mean, has there been a favorite house in Saba, would you say? Or is there a variety? I would say the Nafi has picked up okay. a lot and the Abyss. Nafi is our three bedroom show house. That's right. Abyss three bed is also. three bed, Abyss is also but three it's, bed. But um, it's 120 uh, square meters, the, the building area. Okay. So it's a little bit bigger. Actually, it's the same as the Majula. Majula is, was the popular one in Dalaba. Right. But it's a bit bigger. Okay. So you found that um, a few customers were looking for a bigger yes. three bed in Saba. Yes, we modified it and they loved it. And in Didi, I've noticed that we have a lot of story buildings in Didi. Yes, we sold the most um, story buildings in Didi. Yeah. Uh, in Bena, we also had a good number. We sold about 14. Wow, okay. Out of um, 60 units. It's a good mix, it's a good mix. Yeah, and you can see in Didi actually, we have a whole line that's where we put all the story buildings. Right. In Bena, we had a mixture yes. of the bungalows and the uh, story buildings being next to each other. Mm -hmm. But in Didi, we had a certain area that we put all the story buildings and then the other area is where we put the bungalows. Do you prefer it when it's placed out like that or? Yes, we think it's, it's better that way. That way um, they don't, the neighbors would not be seeing each other you know what I mean? Yes, yes. When, when the story um, is right next to a bungalow, yes. you'd easily be able to see someone else's house. Well, until the trees come up. Yes. yes. <laughs> we have five fruit trees that exactly. should be coming up. So that's a good plus. Yes. That's okay, perfect. So that's privacy. cluster two, right? That's cluster two. Okay, so we're in cluster one. Wow. That's cluster one right now. Mm -hmm. You can see all the lat laterite has been put in. Yes. So the base for the road are already done. And it's all compacted with the water, the rain. It's good. So next thing is, once we start finishing the houses, mm -hmm. is to start the interlocking. So we've had heavy rainfall yes. and we're in Saba now. Yep. You can see the drainage is in. The drainage so that's is in. diverted the flow of water. Mm -hmm. It's good because I wasn't expecting it to be accessible, but it's still accessible. It's accessible because people are still working. Yes. We still have, we're working in here. Um, some of them are even at finishing stages. Wow. You can see we've roofed. 
Yes. And um, finishing has already been started. That's good. Oh, that's one of my clients' houses there. Yes. Um, so <laughs> Betty coming up very nicely. Yes. She's been one, pleased to see it. One, one of the, uh, I think it's the only Betty. Yes. Yes. The only In Betty. In Sabah. Yes. Wow. You know who you are. This is yours right there. Uh -huh. I'll take some personal pictures for you and send them to you via WhatsApp. And that's what we do, of course. If we have customers, we want to keep them happy. We want to make sure they know what's happening with their property. So yes, we'll update you as it's done. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Uh, you know, whenever I'm in Sabah, I look out for my clients' houses. Yeah. But it's also one I'm always checking on. That's the three in one that I've been watching from the start. And it's progressed so well. So it's one buyer, three hajas, yes. all in one plot. In one plot, yeah. Wow, it's amazing. Yes, I it really is. like that concept. I mean, God and give it's me a the retirement. money. It's a retirement home. Retirement, I mean, for me, it'd be a living thing. But <laughs> yes. <laughs> so yes, you know, there's options available. 24 months, you could have three houses in one plot of land. Mm -hmm. Live in one, rent the other, put your mom in the third one, right? Yes, that's right. Is that right. what you do? Extended family. My mom yes. can come live with me anytime. That's I'm sure right. a lot of you love your moms, right? Thanks <laughs> for <Extra> help. <laughs> okay, so this is summer. That's so, let's get talking about salon. No, not really. Anita, I'm going to go to the She's a giant. Right, so here we are, in front of Saba. Really proud of this estate. It's our third one. That is. And it's sold one. out really quickly. Yes. Plus the one that Plus is. Plus the one. Yes. 34 units. Yeah. January to date. That's really good. Yeah. And then we've got close to two that we're selling now. Yes. Yeah. And then in terms of customers, you're getting a lot of repeat customers as well, aren't you? Yes. Which is always a good see. thing. Mm -hmm. That and means they're satisfied with the first one. Yes. So they come back with, for the second one. And a few of your buyers, I must say, are also buying in Sierra Leone. That's right. <laughs> we have one in uh, Sabah that has bought one in Sierra Leone also. Oh, that will be my customer soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we hate to, we're not losing you, right? No, you're not. You're just moving and you're taking my hat. That's you. right. So you're, you're now the general manager. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I Aida. know you're going to do wonders there. Well, I've been watching and learning from you and obviously at Mr. Jai, and I'll have the support, I'm sure, of both of you. So I'm ready to go and hit Sierra Leone with a bang. Yes, definitely. it's going quite well, actually. But I'll already. always be be in my favorite place in the Gambia, yes. marketing manager, uh -huh. Jab City. <laughs> We're going to miss you. <laughs> I'm going to miss you too. Yes. But girl power, I know I've got you. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Let's do that again. <laughs> yeah, we are. Oh. <laughs> Which one? Which one are you hugging or high five? High five. High five. High five. Woof, I've got you. Yes. <laughs> Whoop, whoop. I hope right, let's Tough go. City I'm Micro up City to the will be your new favorite place. So at beautiful as Tough City is, this will be your challenge. Personally, I love the early morning in Tough City. Tough City Gambia, you have my heart. You always have my heart. Let's get ready for Tough Salon Micro City. Right? Tough Salon Micro City Adekamo Adekam Salon. John Obey. So We've been talking about John Obey, Tafsalo Micro City, and a lot is about to start happening. In approximately three weeks from now, mid-October, we start the groundbreaking, official groundbreaking. And that means we start building straight away. Uncle Taf is ready to start building your houses. Make me join Han Make Taf Build You Us. So we're gonna start building straight away, which means if you drive across Peninsula Way, you start seeing some tiny structures going up, growing bigger and bigger as John Obey comes to life. Woohoo! So before I head back to Sierra Leone, because that's going to be my new home for a little while, I wanted to go through some of the similar house designs that we have here in Taft City, Gambia. So let's start off with the Nyima. The Nyima is a champion story in Taft City. It's a four bedroom story building. There's a flexible lounge area with a nice little space for a dining table. To your right, there's a fully fitted kitchen with space in the middle for an island if you prefer. So you can always get an island in the middle. There's access to the garden area and there's even a small pantry space for your extra storage solutions. Now, then we have the guest bedroom with an ensuite shower, really nicely lit and good space. Then you have your guest toilet. Now that's just the ground floor. Now let's go up the stairs. So up the stairs, what we have is three master bedrooms. They're all master bedrooms because they're all en suite and they're all special in their own way. So check out these first two double bedrooms. 
This one is a double bedroom with an ensuite shower and the shared balcony space. Then to your right is a second bedroom, which is also a double bedroom with an ensuite bathroom. Let's have a look at the master bedroom. The master bedroom is complete with your own private balcony area. There's an ensuite bathroom and a walk-in cabinet area. This is amazing. Now imagine this property in Sevillon with the mountain views and the ocean views. This Nima is a champion story in Taf City and her cousin, Fatima, is available in Taf Salon Micro City. Same design, same size, but with a beautiful additional roof concept in Sierra Leone. So the same design, but with a roof, it's going to be called Fatima in Taf Salon Micro City, Nima in Taf City, The Gambia. Check out the brochure for the full floor plan. Thank you for the description of what Fatima will be like in Taf Salon Micro City. She's definitely Nima's cousin. We also have similar comparisons in Sia and Sally. Here an example drop on one of our Property of the Week video. We are coming towards the end of this episode. As you know, we start building Taf City in October 2021 and here we are in October 2023. Things are progressing at full speed just as some people are learning new things like Uncle Taf. If you follow him on social media, you know his phone is his most valuable item and with his phone, he doesn't have to rely on the media team to give him any footage. Life of a creator, how does that feel? Great man, fun, what a fun man. And then stepping down, huh? Guys, Uncle Taf become our new drone pilot. Che, okay, Uncle Taf, how does it feel to see this project that was only a dream? Two years ago, I just had a dream. I mean, a dream to start building a city twice the bigger than Banjo. And uh, yes, I expect uh, challenges to happen, but I'm sure that we will overcome it. And, and we still face challenges, huh? but um, uh, all the same, uh, we're here now, uh, two years after. We have clients that have moved in, and, and as they move in, we, we still, still struggle getting things uh, done. But it's a beautiful place. I mean, everybody is proud of it. I mean, myself, my staff, our clients, and we continue to, to, to struggle and, and, and try and complete uh, the rest. It's going to take some time, but um, so far, so good. As you can see here, you know, all the roads all paved, um, uh, walkways around. Not everybody has moved in, um, but um, I think there's a lot of confidence that has been built. You know, when you have projects like this, uh, first is the vision to try and think about what you want to put in. 
And um, the vision normally is supposed to be a straight path, but there's nothing in this world that is straight path. You meander, where you find obstacles, you overcome them. And we've been able to overcome them. I don't want to list out the challenges we've had. They will always be here, but we'll find ways of mitigating it. But the bottom line is that we are so proud of this development. And it is not only stopping here. Um, we're rolling it out into other countries, as you know. And we keep getting you know, other government officials from other countries, uh, people from the private sector, who engage us. And they want to come and see how this was done. One of the things that we are very proud about this development is that everything here were done by Africans. There's nothing that we have imported in terms of labor. Despite all the challenges, we build capacity. And that is key, because as we all know, I mean, technical capacity is, is going down by the day. So I want to appeal to all the stakeholders that we need to invest on technical capacity, because houses must be built and so many other things. And in doing so, we need our young men and women to get involved in this. So we will keep advocating for this. Uh, there's a need for partnership at every level, the private sector, us, government, uh, the donor community, that let us put more efforts and energy and finances in training our young ones to be able to pick up hard skills to develop edifices like this. So until I come away your, your, your way again, uh, this is tough city, which all of us are proud to say this. The last time people asked about trees, just imagine, look at these trees here. Less than two years, they're taller than me. And, and this is roughly about, what, two and a half meters going to three meters. So just imagine in the next um, five years, you will have matured palm trees, which are planted at every five meters. We have, you know, flowers all done. We have fruit trees. The fruit trees actually are planted inside the compounds. And we have, in, on average, in every compound, you have five different tropical fruit trees. Mangoes, guavas, avocados, oranges, mandarin, lemon, you name it, we have it all here. So imagine 5,000 houses multiplied by five fruit trees, 25,000 fruit trees in here. So we love it, and I hope you love it too. Thank you. The lesson to learn from this speech from Uncle Taf is entrepreneurship is all about turning challenges into opportunities. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please comment and give feedback. But above all, don't forget to come see us or visit our website www.tafafricaglobal.com and www.tafsalon.com.